This is Mayor Oliver Gilbert and we've gone virtual. Now, while we're staying at home and remaining safe, I wanted to make sure that the activities that we enjoy together as a community could be brought to you online. Join me for the Art of Self-Defense with Tazim. Let's learn the art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu together. Enjoy. Good afternoon, students. How is everyone doing? All right, so today we're gonna go over some more self-defense techniques. Uh, maybe next class we'll stick more to the ground uh, as I've been requested uh, by someone to go over more ground techniques with you all. But today we'll go over more stand-up work uh, so we'll get right into it. So, um, we'll, some of these scenarios are for real life self-defense. Uh, we don't want to get stuck in dogma, but we want to kind of keep it as real as possible. So, uh, first up, we're going to go over your headlock. All right. Um, he's going to grab me and a headlock. This particular side headlock, a lot of you all know from WWF. What I'm gonna do right away is I'm gonna secure the hands. I'm gonna grab his bicep, okay? Now, as I grab his bicep, my hands are then gonna move to his legs, okay? So I'm gonna grab to keep him in place because remember, he's choking, mm -hmm. right? So I'm actually kind of buying myself some air, some breathing time. So I keep them close. As I do so, I'm gonna grab the back. I'm gonna step over. As I step over, I'm gonna step in front of his head, grab this arm up, bring back, there's your arm. So again, we're gonna go over that scenario again. Side headlock like you see in WWF. Okay, so this position is more of seize and control, and it would be to do what? To put me to sleep. Mm -hmm. So for me to breathe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze tight, grab his biceps in his hand. That's just to help me to readjust, and also to move my leg back, right? Leg back. Okay, so right before I move, remember, leg comes back, and I turn, all right? Yes, thank you. So, very important that we remember, the movement comes just like that, okay? Now, the next one is gonna be with strikes. So, I'll be grabbed, side headlock, right? The next thing that's gonna come is what? A punch. I stop it, okay? Bring it close, bring it tight. As I do so, I'm gonna stand up and look right at the sky. Take my head back. Place my hand right behind his back, okay? Now, as I do it, if you all can see, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna reach up to his shoulder blade. And then I'm gonna kick him in the back of the knee. And then now I'm gonna go to my choke. I can grab my own collar or head close and squeeze. Hi, John. Good? Yeah, nice. All right. <laughs> so with that, adding the strikes, okay, everyone knows that once you grab, the next thing to happen is a punch is coming or they're going to try to slam you. Okay, so we'll go with that scenario again. Remember, three times you all and switch. Three times and switch. Sir? So he grabs, I stop the blow, I bring it to his body. Okay, as I do so, remember I'm going to look straight up, open him straight up. Right? Take my head out, his arm behind his back. Now, thank you. You don't have to go all the way up, but I created that so that I could put more torque on that shoulder, okay? 
Come back for me. Now at this position, okay, I stop the blow. I take a, a look up. Head's gonna come out. Put his arm back here. You can finish it like so. Kick the back of the knee, push him down, right? Sometimes you can let him also drop right on your knee, which is a lot of pressure on that shoulder, okay? Don't feel good. <laughs> <No sir. laughs> so, you stop the blow. You step, open him up, bring him back, and then take him down. And again, this is trying to not get caught up in the dogma, but make it as real as possible for you all. Um, so, moving right along, we're gonna go into the full Nelson. A lot of people grew up watching WWF. You got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people who know this move. It is used all the time. A lot of bouncers and clubs, they love it. This is a go-to move because you seize and you control a person. If done right, you can kind of make the person do whatever it is you want them to do because you seize them and you control them. See, wherever the head goes, the body goes, right? So with the head being, come on, sir. With the head being pushed forward, it's kind of hard for you to move. He's in control. He has seized me and he can control me, right? A lot of people use this to make you submit from here. Because why? The, the, the neck, the trach is pushed down. You can't breathe. Mm -hmm. Also, the back of the neck controls the head. And I can't, I can't lift up and I can't do what I want to do. So he's in control. But this is how we change the variable, okay? Take two steps. Get a little rooted, okay? If you see, he's, he's, he's pulling back, right? This is what I want to do. I'm going to push my forehead back, and I'm going to break his grip. You all see that. Once I broke his grip, I'm going to grab his wrist, go inside to my, to my arm, and create an arm bar right here, okay? Go one more time, sir. So, I've been seized, I've been, con I, he's in control, right? He probably wanna walk me out the door, he probably wanna make me do whatever he wants me to do, okay? But I changed that by pressing my head back and breaking his grip, okay? Then I reach over, I grab his wrist, and I reach under, and I grab my wrist, and I pull up. Thank you, sir. So, the movements, okay, are simple and yet effective. Uh, don't complicate your self-defense, don't, Confuse yourself. Keep it simple, okay? Because when you're when you're in a life or death situation, as you see him and I uh, showing you all, you want to be able to have quick response and an accurate response, okay? A quick response and an accurate response. You do not want to, okay? You do not want to have to begin to try to think of what to do, of how to do. You want to just do, okay? So let's keep our movement very, very simple, but yet effective, okay? Uh, we'll go over the uh, rear naked choke now, okay? A lot of people, they look at the size of a man and they say, oh, that don't work on big guys. I'm here to tell you that's false, okay? I have used this technique 
on a man that weighed 300 pounds, who was about six foot three. Okay? These techniques are effective. The Gracie Jiu Jitsu system is an effective system that has been put together for many, 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 many years. Okay? Their system is effective, it works. Only the naysayers and the doubters, they disbelieve. But then they step on the mat and they become believers. I don't want to get off on a tangent, just thought I would share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, what he and I are going to go through right now is the rear naked choke. It is a very effective, okay, submission that is used a lot of times in fights because, you know, whichever person is using it is trying to get the fight to be over with. So what they do is they go straight to choking you, right? But if this were to happen to any of you all, good people, sir, yes, sir. Okay, so he has me in a rear naked choke, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, okay, is I'm gonna rid myself of this first. I'm gonna grab his hand, his arm, two, both of my hands on his forearm and pull down. I'm gonna do so, so that I can breathe. <laughs> Cause I got an anaconda on my throat, <laughs> okay? So, I created the space, I released the anaconda on my neck, all right? And as I did so, I'm gonna drop and turn, okay? So, as I, sir, go ahead. As I, I want you to put your hand back like that, okay? Now, as I go ahead and create it, okay, some room for me to breathe, okay? Now, the one that I just showed, I went to both knees, right? This one, I'm gonna stand and turn, okay? You all saw him break fall from that position. Now, the rear naked choke, again, is an effective submission. The counters that I'm showing you all are the self-defense way out to preserve your life is not to say that these techniques don't work. What I'm doing is giving you options in case you are attacked by someone who uses them, right? So we'll go over it again. Now, his rear naked choke is closing off the air on where? my arteries, right? So I'm losing blood flow, okay? He's suffocating me, so I'm losing air. So I got about five seconds, okay? If he really cranks it on in about five seconds, all right, <laughs> I'm going to sleep, okay? So again, if he, if he wanted to go ahead and go ahead and lean back like he just did, remember we talked about positioning a leg back, right? To do what? To break him and bring him back forward, which is where we want to take him anyway, right? So the first one, we're going to drop to our knees and go over the shoulder. Now, thank you. So the ability to drop to your knees or as I, as I showed one more time for him, let me see. The, the standing, right? The standing. Both hands grab, we went standing. This one, okay? Can be done, all right? And then, break forward. So, always remember, okay? The options are there, rely on them. Try your best to keep calm, work through the scenario, okay? With the rear naked choke, 
the first thing that's very important to do is to give yourself the ability to breathe. Okay, because you only got about five or six seconds. Mm -hmm. And he got a, real, a good reason to make a choke. So, three to five seconds into it, if you don't know what you're doing, somebody like this guy here who choked you like Anaconda, mm -hmm. you're going to sleep. So, just remember, put both of your hands on that forearm that goes across. Give yourself the ability, okay, to do what? To breathe. Very important, you have the ability to breathe. Now, he and I earlier, we were discussing, okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the conversation with what you were saying to me about um, women and how women grab hair. Great question. I've had the same question for years myself, okay, because I have an eight-year-old daughter. So my mind is always thinking of what I can do to teach my daughter to defend herself. So that scenario was always you know, in my head. And, you know, that was, a, that was an excellent, excellent, excellent question. Glad you asked me. So what we're, <clears throat> so we're going to do is we're going to go over that scenario again to help some of the women out there because, you know, I'm not trying to be an alarmist, but I'm trying to encourage the women that see this or any of the men that's out there and you got women in your family. Put them in a self-defense class so that they can learn to defend themselves because there are a lot of women, okay, being snatched up every day. The numbers will scare you when you see them, all right? So please, and everyone knows, you know, in this day and age, how crime is. So please, please, please uh, share this with women, no matter the age, because the scenario in which he gave me was an awesome one. When a woman is fighting, some women, what they will do is they will grab the hair, okay? They will grab the hair to seize and control the person so that they can land strikes, right? Because just like we showed with the full Nelson, when the head is down, right, you're kind of kind of somewhat defenseless because you have to be able to bring the head back. But it's hard to do that because your hair is attached to the root of your scalp, right? So um, I'm gonna share what he and I went over earlier with you all, and that is the option that you have when someone grabs your hair, because it's practical, okay? It, you, can, you can go to YouTube or uh, Instagram or anywhere. You can see, first thing a woman does, she gonna grab that hair. And next, come the blows, okay? So it's practical, and, and I, I want you all to, to benefit from it too. And I'm glad he asked me. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't have much hair. You know, this is the first time I, I've had hair in like 20 years. But you know, normally I, I, I keep a ball head. But um, we're gonna, we're gonna go over this, and we're doing this uh, for the ladies out there <laughs> to help. Okay. So he, 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 he's, he's gonna grab a. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he's grabbing, you know, he's grabbing his imaginary hair, right? Okay, so what we want to do, all right, is at this position to remain calm, okay? Look what could be coming towards you. Both your hands are free, okay, to defend yourself, right? So we have the strikes, right? Now... When the strikes are coming, the other thing that could happen, okay, from the punches are the knees, okay? The knees can come. Now, those are the two weapons that could come. Or the person could be very strong and very aggressive and take you down and throw it, right? Boom. Okay, so we got punches, knees, and 
like kind of rag doll, right? Like 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 a rag doll, right? So, okay. So, in my opinion, what we would do, right? To to free my hair out of this fist, right? Is to push like so. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the wrist, right? And I'm gonna push my head forward, okay? That's all I want, you see that? That's all I want. Now, as I've done that, okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pushing, right? Option one, break. Push, 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 push my head forward. Grab the hand. Now, if the strike comes good, cause he gotta go, push. <laughs> Option two. Okay, so what did I just do? We got a camera view there. Step this way from me. As I grab the wrist and I'm pushing my head forward, right? I know the punch is coming. Boom! So I stop it. I stop it. I stop it. The next thing I do is I'm going to create an Americana from here, and I'm going to step behind. Push. Take that. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, what we try to do is keep calm, realize the options that are there. When I push the, the wrist back, I create this L motion. And from this L motion, okay, you just be like a uh, you got a sharp object. You got a sharp object anywhere in the house? No. Um, give me a pin. You got a pin over there or something like that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, if you go ahead and go to start on uh, stab down. This same motion here. Okay? I'm clear out of the way of this knife that's coming down to, uh, to stab me in the head. The same thing is what I'm going to create here, which is the Americana. Okay, you all see that? Now, I, 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 the more I pull his elbow this way, the more he goes like that. And then I can easily just step behind and create the sweep. Thank you, sir. So, very important that you, you grab the wrist and push your head forward to create the, the wrist to do this. When the wrist does that, close the space. Yeah, home girl gonna swing, that's okay, boom, you stop it. It's okay if the knee comes, pop, you stop it, right? If another punch comes, pop, you stop it, okay? Remain calm. And then, once it was there, just like we just showed, like if somebody were to stab you, create the Americana, step behind, and get the sweep get the sweep like that. So, paramount, all right, paramount that the women out there, remember, try your best to know your surroundings at all times. If you get a funny feeling, go with it. Pay attention to people walking behind you. If you walk in and you feel somebody watching and walking, you know, look back, it's okay, fine, who, who cares if they know you see them? Good. So now that know, now you let them know, oh, I see that you follow me. I see that you coming to get me. That's okay, so you go right in your cell phone. Do -do 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 -do. Let the phone be open. Say right to them, hey, this guy, he following me, help, help, help. You saw, what, you saw what my friend just did? That's exactly what's gonna happen. Because the 911 call was open, okay? Oh, I'm over here at the grocery store. I'm off of 7th Avenue and 195th Street. I see this guy, he following me. You don't even have to be, the phone is open. So guess what? All of what you just said went straight to dispatch. So they send an officer, help, help, help. Oh yeah, I see you over there in that black shirt. Boy, you don't scare me. Come on, y'all. Now the police coming. See? So, I want the women out here to understand that 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 uh, 
feeling uneasy, okay, by, by, by today's society to remain calm and, 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 and let's be, let's use our, uh, they say when we got intuition, right? Let's, let's, let's use our, our, our intuition. Yeah, what was it? Hey, <laughs> you know, let's use that, you know. Um, so to remain safe um, and again, the techniques that you all saw today, the full Nelson, the rear naked choke, the headlock, punch escape, all of those things, drill them at least three times with your partner, your friend, and then you switch three times and you switch. Okay, dedicate some time to the students. Don't just watch it and try it once or twice. No, you have to drill this until it becomes second nature. Okay, so if you are caught off guard, you react without thinking, oh my God, what do I do? Because while you're thinking, oh my God, what do I do? It's too late. And time is always of the essence. So we also went over the hair defense technique along with the knife. Right? Here was, here was a knife here. Okay? So, the knife strike is very important too. You know? So what am I doing? I am, I am simply opening my hand up just like that. Boom. Okay? So, as, it, as, I, as, as I open straight up, now I'm going to come right behind it and bend the arm like so to create the key lock or Americana as we call it in Jiu Jitsu. Okay, and then I'm putting the elbow up. Okay, the elbow is going to go up. I can also reach over and take it. Thank you, sir. Because with this pain, remember people respect pain. They may not respect you unfortunately, but the pain they respect. So the pain says, oh, wait a minute. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? Now, I don't even want that no more. This pain hurt. And that's reality. People respect pain. Um, so I thank you all for tuning in this lovely afternoon. And uh, me and my, my friend here, thank you. We, uh, we thank you all for tuning in again. You all remain safe and peace and as we say, us. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Join us every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. on Facebook Live for Self-Defense with Tazim. If you want to view the session again, visit cmgengage.com backslash virtual. See you next week.